all of us will come across an animal in our lifetime that we're a little scared of. Maybe it's the neighbor's dog that growls every time you walk by, or your grandma's cat with the extra sharp claws and sassy attitude. But your average domestic pets have nothing on these ones. From a purple frog to a terrifying shark, here are 15 weird animals that'll give you chills. Number 15. Snub-nosed monkeys. It's hard not to see the hairs rise on the back of your neck as soon as you see a snub-nosed monkey for the first time. Even photos of them can give you a little chill. These 21-inch monkeys, which grow up to around 37 pounds, were discovered in 2010 between China and Myanmar. They were then identified as a new species in 2011. They have black and brown bodies, a light pink face, and a prominent and thick lip. Their eyes are quite disconcerting to look at for their black and almost almond shaped. But it's their nose that makes your eyebrows raise a little. They don't get called snub-nosed monkeys for nothing. Their noses face upwards, and they have broad, upturned nostrils as well. These monkeys look nothing like many of their relatives across the Mekong and Salween rivers, even though they only live a short distance away. By the time you factor in their white beards, muscular limbs, and ear tufts, it's clear to see that they're definitely a weird animal that many people are curious to know more about. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. This is by far one of the weirdest animals that'll give you chills. Even more disturbing is the fact that we don't know what it is. This odd little alien caterpillar humanoid thing was found in a family's front yard. The entire family was out gardening when their dog started barking at something and furiously digging at the dirt. Sitting on the grass behind the dirt was this strange creature. It definitely gives you chills the first time you see it. What do you think it is? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Goliath Tigerfish If you thought that great white sharks and piranhas would be the animals to invade your nightmares, then wait till you learn about the Goliath Tigerfish. Out of all animals to give you chills, this 6 foot 100 pound fish would shoot to the top of the list. Tiger fish live in the Congo River of Africa and are heavily built fish. They have long teeth like that of a crocodile and they can tear chunks out of fish and any potential food source. That doesn't give you much confidence to swim in any body of water alongside them. While they mainly feed on fish, that doesn't mean they aren't capable of doing some serious damage to people. There's been a report of a young girl entering the Congo River wearing a belt made of bottle caps to ward off evil spirits. Instead of warding them off, the belt attracts a Goliath tiger fish with fatal consequences. That story encouraged Jeremy Wade from River Monsters to visit. He caught the large predatory fish in an episode called Demon Fish. Upon catching one, it became injured and wouldn't survive being released, so it was given to local villagers. Number 13. Purple Frog When you describe a frog as being purple, you imagine this cute little critter with a vibrant purple color scheme that warms your heart. But this purple frog, the pig-nosed frog, is anything but cute. In fact, it's more likely to appear as a swamp-dwelling monster in your nightmares. It's definitely something to give you chills. The pig-nosed frog will spend the majority of its life underground, so you fortunately don't have to see them that often. They also only live in the western ghats of India, where they have been quietly evolving in the background for the last 100 million years. 
but even though they've been around for a long time, that doesn't mean they aren't vulnerable. They are listed as endangered and are at risk due to deforestation. What's particularly interesting, or chilling, about this frog is how it differs from others. As if its looks weren't terrifying enough, they also use sucker-like mouth parts to cling onto rocks where they feed on algae. These squishy, slimy little frogs don't always make it to adulthood, though. Some locals eat the tadpoles or use them for medicinal purposes. Number 12. Goblin Shark You don't come across too many sharks that'll make you say, aw, it's so adorable. But you'll struggle to find any shark as ugly as the Goblin Shark. Researchers certainly weren't exaggerating when they came up with its name. Goblin sharks date back around 125 million years, and they are a rare deep-sea shark. They have pink skin, a flattened snout, and a protruding jaw with teeth like nails. Only the goblin has a jaw that whips forward like a slingshot. If that doesn't send chills up your spine, then nothing will. Goblin sharks can grow to around 13 feet long and live at depths greater than 330 feet. The deeper you go, the more adult goblin sharks you'll find. Juveniles tend to loiter around the shallows a bit more. As far as shark anatomy goes, the goblin shark is pretty ugly. They have small fins, flabby bodies, and a strange snout that it uses to sense prey. They tend to feed on crustaceans, cephalopods, and teleost fish. The worst part about this shark is that they exist in all three major oceans. Fortunately, because they're deep sea sharks, you're not likely to come across one unless you're actively looking for them. Number 11. Venezuelan Poodle Moth if you're a big fan of animals, as long as they're fluffy and small, then you may be changing your criteria. The Venezuelan poodle moth fits into that criteria, but it's not exactly what you would call a cuddly creature. In fact, it's more likely to send chills right up your spine. For years, people even wondered if this moth was real. It looks like something someone would create in a graphics program as a prank, but as it turns out, it is real. Zoologist Dr. Arthur Anker photographed it for the first time in 2009 in Venezuela's Gran Sabana region. He took around 75 photos of it, but you'll only see a few of them floating around the internet. Anytime you see it online, too, you're guaranteed to find comments by people questioning if it's real. Dr. Anker called it a Venezuelan poodle moth for obvious reasons. It's from Venezuela, it's a moth, and it's kinda poodle-like. In a way, it also looks like other furry moths, like the Bombyx mori, but it's different from it in several ways as well. The moth measures about one inch long and is thought to only exist in the Canaima National Park in Venezuela. Since it was first spotted, it has not been seen again. Number 10. The Brazilian Tree Hopper There are around 900,000 living insects in the world that we know of. And while a fair portion of them won't phase you, some will make you recoil in horror. The Brazilian tree hopper is an excellent example. They are related to cicadas, but we'd like to say that they appear to be distant relatives. They certainly share very little in common with them. They live in the treetops, spend all day munching on trees, and live in Africa, South America, North America, Asia, and Australia. So if you don't like disturbing looking creatures, then you may like to move to New Zealand. They have a strange type of headdress with what looks like little black orbs. Both males and females have small black balls on their heads, and scientists still aren't sure what they're for. Some think they may show off their genetic vigor, but that would only make sense if only males had them. Other scientists think they mimic a second dummy head to confuse predators trying to attack, but the most popular and probably most realistic answer is that the strange balls are designed to look like the fungus called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis. This type of fungus invades ants' bodies and causes fungus to burst out of their skin. If they look like that, then predators may be less likely to eat them. Number 9. Blue Dragon Blue dragon, blue angel, sea swallow, or whatever you want to call it, this sea creature is creepy. Even though it only grows to around one inch long, that doesn't mean that it doesn't make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. 
You aren't likely to spot them all that often in the ocean because they blend in with the sky and ocean. However, when they end up on land, they're a bit ew to look at. They are a brightly colored sea slug with all those strange looking feelers that do some really odd things. They feed on large venomous prey, like the blue button jelly and Portuguese man o' war. They then store these creatures' stinging cells in their bodies so that they can use them later against predators. If that's not awful enough, they lay eggs on the carcasses of their prey or any floating masses they come across. While they live deep in the ocean, they can also swallow air bubbles to float to the surface. And if you ever see them floating around in groups, these are called blue fleets. What a strange little creature. Number 8. Giant Isopod Found throughout the world, the giant isopod is an animal that'll not only give you chills, but probably make you wince a little too. Poor guy, it can't help how it looks, but it's definitely not pretty. Giant isopods are bottom dwellers that live between 550 and 7,020 feet below the ocean surface. They tend to prefer clay and mud floors over anything else. These features don't make these animals weird, but their looks do. Yeah, we get little bugs like that in Australia under rocks that, that you know, maybe a... They are invertebrates with dorsoventrally compressed bodies consisting of overlapping exoskeleton segments. The first shell section is fused to its head, and the rest form a type of shield over their abdomens. If that's not weird enough, they also have large, strange eyes that are spaced far apart with a section of shell jutting out over the top. They have seven pairs of legs, two sets of antenna, and little respiratory components that act as gills. Even their coloring is a bit odd, as you can find them in either brown or a lilac color. Fortunately, giant doesn't mean they're the size of a car. At their largest, they're about 14 inches long. Number 7. Cereal Leaf Beetle The cereal leaf beetle sounds like a cute and humorous little critter, but it is anything but. How would you like it if you were trying to eat cereal but a beetle kept getting in first? That's the battle that many farmers are currently facing. This gross looking critter is on the FBI's most wanted list. Uh, well, not quite, but it's certainly the target of many biological control efforts. These beetles eat spring and winter wheat. Both the larvae and adults eat the newest leaves on the plants. The larva will cause much of the damage by eating most of the tissue from the upper leaf surface. The adults will eat completely through the leaves. Anything left behind is barely any good to anyone. These beetles are such a problem that in Washington state, losses of up to 25% have been reported in irrigated spring wheat. Fortunately, there are effective management methods. Farmers have been introducing parasitoid wasps, which can destroy cereal leaf beetles by inserting their eggs into their larvae. They can also prevent them from being a problem in the first place by creating border strips seeded to oat about two weeks after spring wheat. Number 6. The Blobfish if fish had trophy cabinets, the blobfish would probably have no room left. And that's not because it's an overly good swimmer or wins the ocean bake sale every year. It would definitely take away the title of being the ugliest fish. It's not just unsightly, it's plain hideous. The blobfish lives up to 4,000 feet below the ocean's surface. And believe it or not, it looks pretty normal down there. Wait, 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 don't come, don't, let me just... Let me look at you a little bit longer. That's thanks to the water pressure. But if it ends up in a fishing net and the pressure of the water decreases, it starts to lose its shape. Extreme tissue damage makes it look like a sad, gooey, gloopy blob. At this point, some fishermen attempt to throw them back in the water to give them a chance of survival, but it doesn't seem like there's any coming back from that. It probably doesn't help that this type of fish doesn't have any bones and barely any muscle mass, but they really don't need it. They loiter around the ocean floor and chow down on crabs and mollusks that are unfortunate enough to be in their path. If any fish is gonna make you recoil in horror, it's gonna be the blobfish. Number 5. Star-Nosed Mole If your parents ever tell you that you eat as fast as a star-nosed mole, then don't be offended. In fact, be a little proud. It's quite an achievement. For this weird little animal can devour a worm or insect in around a quarter of a second. 
But that's not what makes the star-nosed animal one that'll give you chills. It's the octopus-looking attachment on its nose. These moles live underground and make their way through soggy soils. Given how dark it is underground, they don't need sight, so theirs is very poor. Fingers that allow the mole to sense the world around it. But they do need something to help them find things to eat, so they have a little squirmy thing as a nose. They press it against the soil and can feel about a dozen different parts of the earth at once. Therefore, they can quickly determine which delicious snacks are there for them to eat. It also helps that this little star has about 100,000 nerve fibers that send information to its brain. If you didn't know what that octopus thingy was for, though, you would probably let out a small scream when seeing a star-nosed mole in person. Number 4. The Red-Lipped Batfish the red-lipped batfish is an excellent example of what marine life would look like if they wore makeup. Even though it's light brown with gray, a white stomach, and dark stripes and dots, there's one part of it that stands out, and that's its red lips. It looks like it's spent a lot of time applying makeup, or it's recently devoured something very messily. There doesn't appear to be any good reason for them to have such lips, but they definitely break up the dullness of the color scheme. But that's not all that's intriguing about this fish. It has a few other unusual quirks. It's more than capable of swimming around the seabed for something to eat, but it doesn't. Instead, it uses its fins like legs and walks around. These fish also have tiny little structures on their heads called elysium, which they use to lure prey in. Oh, we thought they put on their lipstick for that. They mainly live on a diet of fish, shrimp, and mollusks, and you'll find them in the Pacific Ocean around Galapagos. Number 3. Gharial Crocodile the gharial is a critically endangered crocodile, which is almost on its last little stubby crocodile legs. It may not be long until there are none left, but there are probably plenty of people out there who don't mind that one bit. Seeing one of these in person would give you chills. Gharials live in the northern parts of the Indian subcontinent, incorporating four river systems. They prefer fast-flowing freshwater, and they only leave the water to nest and bask in the rays. They are known as some of the largest crocodilians in the world. which doesn't give anyone who's fearful of crocs much confidence. They can grow to a whopping 21 feet long. But it's not only their size that would make you nervous. They also have up to 110 razor-sharp teeth and webbed feet that make them lightning fast in the water. Fortunately, their leg muscles aren't the best, so they can't run after you. They can slide after you, though. There has been around a 98% decline in the gharial population in the last century. Currently, there are about 650 wild gharials left on Earth. Number 2. Dumbo Octopus There are plenty of facts about the Dumbo Octopus that'll surprise you. They're definitely no ordinary sea creature, that's for sure. They live in the depths of the ocean, down to around 13,100 feet. As a result, they are the deepest living of all known octopus species. Somehow, they manage to live just fine in the dark depths of the ocean, where temperatures are frigid. You buy, and then the female can wait until she's in a really good situation to care for her eggs before fertilizing. But that doesn't mean they aren't faced with some challenges, such as reproduction. Surprisingly though, they overcome them. If they come across a mate, they can never guarantee that it'll be the right time to reproduce. So they carry eggs at various stages of their development. They can also store sperm for a long time after mating. When the conditions are right, they can move the sperm to their most developed eggs and improve their chances of being able to breed. Strangely though, even though they spend most of their lives suspended above the sea floor, they lay their eggs on rocks and hard surfaces on the bottom. These absurd octopuses are certainly not boring. Number 1. Yeti Crab Crabs aren't exactly oil paintings. They wouldn't win any beauty contests, that's for sure. 
But there's something quite chilling about the Yeti crab. It's not ugly, it's not pretty, it's just strange. It's a relatively new species, having only been discovered in 2005. It has long, yellow hairs, a long body, and has the official name of Kiwa Hirsuta. Scientists who found it think this type of crab is blind because it lacks pigment in its eyes. Its hairy pincers, which helped give it the name of Yeti crab, contain filamentous bacteria. This bacteria is used for detoxifying any poisonous minerals from the water surrounding hydrothermal vents where they live. Fortunately, you are unlikely to come across any of these while taking a casual dip in the ocean. The Yeti crab was discovered around 930 miles from Easter Island at about 7,200 feet below the ocean surface on hydrothermal vents. These vents let off hot water, which clearly creates a comfortable living quarters for this fluffy sea creature. Even though most people just call it a furry lobster, the Yeti crab is a squat lobster, which actually makes it more related to crabs than lobsters. As it turns out, the Earth is a terrifying place with a lot of animals that are best to be avoided. Some of these are definitely ones you will not want to come into contact with. Have you actually seen any of these in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!